The next data is uh, publication data. Rob, can you yeah. tell us a bit about the publication data? So this data was looking at um, publication of papers that were described in clinical trials. Um, the outcome is time until publication. And was a particular interest is whether or not the, if the study had a positive, the trial had a positive result versus a null result, whether that uh, led to a faster publication. As, you, as you, one might think that's the case. Or publication at all. Or publication at all, yeah. yeah. The, the time until publication was it linked until yeah. to uh, positivity of the trial. And so censoring, if, 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 if the time is censored, it means never was published. Never was published, or I think maybe the, the study ended before the publication. I mean, yeah. the, 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 at the end of the, of, the, of the data collection, the paper was still unpublished. So I guess this speaks to the bias in, in published, like clinical trial and medical um, right. papers, right? It's trying to examine whether there is yeah. such a bias, yeah. Right. The, the incantation is pretty much the same. We've got time and status. The status variable here is whether or not it was uh, published. In this case, publication date is the end point. It's a positive result. It's a positive outcome if it's published. Pause res is whether the, 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 the result in the study was, was positive or not. Right. And that's, that's the binary predictor in this case. And we produce a um, Kaplan-Meier curve for that, stratified by negative or positive. And sure enough, it looks, well, like the curves are pretty close, but it looks like down at the bottom here at least that... Uh, if it was a negative result, it tended not to get published in the, you know, slightly longer time till ever or never publication. Whereas if the result was positive, it seemed to be a little bit ahead. Some of those papers waited a long time. Didn't they? they waited a long time, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like the median's around uh, two years, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Are these statistics journals? <laughs> no. <laughs> statistics <laughs> journals aren't that bad. That's, that's, that's a very long time, especially for medical journals. So now we'll fit the same model using a Cox proportional hazards model. And we'll, we'll do a test. We don't do the log rank test here, but we just use the Cox model test for this binary variable and we see the p-value is not significant. So in fact, it's not significant, the difference. And the log rank test will provide a, a similar conclusion. And uh, here we do the log rank test. And once again, if we put in other um, predictors in the model, we're going to put all the other predictors in the model expect, except the funding mechanism variable. Uh, why was that left out, Rob? I, I don't remember. <laughs> don't remember. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry I asked. <laughs> In the in the actual lab in the book, I believe it's it's done both ways. But it's done both ways. Yeah. yeah. So here we see there's a few uh, significant variables. There's the impact. That's the impact of the journal. Impact factor. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's um, significant. Yeah. And this is whether it was a clinical endpoint or not. Right. That's significant. And. And then, of course, positive result is, is now significant in the presence of these, these, these other variables. So that's sort of curious. And this, this often happens. There's, there's often confounding and masking in data. And when you put in other factors, then the strength of a, a predictor can actually come out. Right. And that's what's happened here. And, and we're left with a, a number of... In, important predictors. So the trial, again, focused on a clinical endpoint um, and the impact of the study and whether the study has a pod positive or negative result. I see it was the impact of the study, not the journal. 